Hey, this is Ben Fetters with Sovereign SP, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about dynamic content links inside of Send Email Actions in Power Automate. This is super helpful because normally when we use dynamic content links inside of emails, they look really big and bulky and ugly. So we're going to talk about how to format them nicely and how to get them to send the recipient where we want them to go. So stick around. If you're new here, we're Sovereign SP and we do helpful tips and tutorials on Power Apps and Power Automate. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We also offer Power Apps and Power Automate training and consultation services where we'll help you build your Power App or your Flow. But more on that in the description below. Let's get into the video. First things first, we're just looking at a simple little Power Automate Flow here. And we're looking at the send email action. And let me just talk, let me just tell you a little bit about what I am talking about when I'm talking about a dynamic content link. So the trigger for this flow is called when an item is created or modified. Now what I can do with that, that's a SharePoint trigger. So what I can get from that is the link to that item. So if I look up a link to item, it says a link that can be used to get to the file or list item. So that's exactly what we want. So if I click on that, it's going to put link to item there. And you know, I can put this in here and start typing my name real quick. Ben Fetters, perfect. And what that's going to bring me back is some crazy, ugly link, right? So it's going to have the HTTPS and it's going to be some big, long thing. And the user's not even going to really know what it's even talking about. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to format that so it looks nice. Normally, uh, what we do and in, in our company is we say click here, and here is the link to view the item. So we're gonna talk about how we can do that using Power Automate. So something to notice here is I have a few different options to format the body of the email but something right here, which is kind of nice, I can do the code view. So if I click that right now, uh, you'll notice it's HTML, it's just simple, and I can click back and it'll have this be blank again, right? So if I add some text, like click here to view the item, and I click back here, then inside of the code there, it's gonna say click here to view the item. And now I'll click back. So the first thing that we can do is if whether you know HTML or not, uh, no worries. This is going to be simple enough for you to understand and you'll be able to handle this just as fine. So if I highlight the here, which is where we want to click is here or there. And I go to this chain link icon. Now something you might have to do is disable the dynamic content so you can actually see this pop up. Um, so the link title is here, so that's going to be the text of our link, right? Uh, we can also select open link in the new window, and we can have the link target, so if I want to just default this to something. Oh, that's really thinking I'm trying to add dynamic content. Then I'm going to add, I put in our website, so sovereignsp.com, right? And now we can see that it's got a little link going on here. But if we click on our code view, what that looks like is click, and then we have some HTML. So to do a link, we have the A and href and here, and then we're ending the link with that right there. Basically what we're gonna do here is we want to add the dynamic content inside of here, right? So we wanna add that link to the item inside of here. So this is kind of the first way to do this. If you want it to look a little nicer, we'll show you another way. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Now our href, or basically where we want the link to take you to. And then I'm gonna click over here. And now I can add in some dynamic content. But the 
bad part about this is of course as soon as I add dynamic content it takes away this option to go back to my non-code view right so as soon as I click out of this type in my website speed.com click here keeps that in there and the other thing that I need to mention is if I highlight something I add a link and I do a link target I can't add in dynamic content so you know I it's gonna look like I can add it in there but for right now you can't add it in there which is interesting but maybe someday you will be able to and this video will be pretty much useless but for now this is helpful um, so the way to get around this and to make this look better because uh, if you're not used to coding uh, this isn't the you know the funnest way it doesn't really allow you to see what the email is gonna look like um, but if you just want to, this is a simple email, this is, you know, this is the easiest way to do this. Uh, the email is still going to send, it's still going to work, it's going to look exactly the same, but this is an interesting little thing that it does. Uh, also, if I close this and open it up, you'll see that it's added some weird text. I'm not entirely sure why it does that, but let's just get rid of that and open it up again okay so sometimes it does that it's just a weird thing maybe that won't even happen for you uh, but let's talk about how we can make this a little more simpler now there's kind of two ways of doing this the first way let's type this back in here go back to our code view and what we're actually going to do is initialize a variable so initialize variable and we can say HTML link to item. There we go. And all we need to do here is select string. Close that. Now that we got our variable initialized, let's actually populate it right there. Uh, and what we're going to populate it with is our HTML. But uh, there's so the two different ways of doing this is you could get the HTML of you know the whole email so once you got everything nice and ready what I do sometimes is I uh, add in a link and I well, it looks like it took it out. I add in the places where I want links and I just add in a simple you know our website or something like that so that's that's uh, how I know I want a link there and then what you can do is copy this whole thing put it inside of the variable and where it says href hyperlink reference we're going to go to link to item put it in there just like that so this is all our html that we want and then i come like this delete that out of there and i got my variable html there we go another way of doing it a little bit weird as well um, but if we didn't want to do that let's do this again click here let's go like that this time add a link pretty sure you can actually just type in anything and it'll add a link for you look at that once we've got our HTML code now this time we're just gonna get the link so all we want to do is get the HTML for just that link so I'm gonna highlight this control copy and for our variable this time is paste in that code so we just want something looking like that right if you want to change your text or whatever it's going to show you can you know I could even add dynamic content there I could uh, come up here and say the title put in the title there and my link is going to be link link to item there we go I've got that code there and now the really cool part is if I click back here and I take out that all I have to do now is say HTML link to item click whatever that is gonna say to open the item and there you go so that is an easier way this actually is putting in the HTML but it actually is gonna you know the flow and the send email action is smart enough to get that HTML and just convert that into a link rather than because of course this is just a string of text so flow is actually smart enough to know how to handle that so uh, it looks a little different you know it's a little bit extra steps you can't just put in the link there do this link thing right here 
Uh, but that is actually going to work. So let me get this ready and I will show you what a sample of this will look like. And looking at my email, my subject is test, and it says click. The name of my item is custom power app application, and there is my huge ugly link to open the item. Doesn't really make sense. But if I click on this, it will take me to my SharePoint item here, and I'll be able to see the item. So that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, basically, it creates a dynamic link. You can create the dynamic uh, text for the link uh, as well. So as I change this here, you know, I could just change, I could hard code that to just say here, uh, which would make more sense in this case, but you can hard code that or you can uh, put in dynamic content to make that whatever you want. So kind of a weird uh, workaround. Maybe someday this will change, but for now, this is all we have. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, check out any of our other videos on Power Apps and Power Automate. And if you'd like to uh, be notified of any future videos, uh, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified if you would like. And have a great day.